Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac and welcome to, yes, another vacuum cleaner unboxing. I've got a goblin for you today. The second goblin I've unboxed on my channel, but this one is not a handheld, it's a full-sized bagless cylinder. Now the Goblin brand at the time of making this video is only available at Asda stores online or in store, as far as I know anyway. So let's get this open. The only reason I went for this Goblin, well two reasons, hello Molly, um, two reasons. One because it was on rollback at only £25 from about £44.95 or something. And another, I've decided to collect the Goblin cleaners from Asda for some reason. There is an upright cleaner in the same white and red colour. I will be getting that at some stage, but I'm waiting for that to go on roll back too. Because it's at full price and I'm sure it will go down to £40 again before too long. I've looked at the reviews online for this and they're not bad. The main concern of the people who reviewed it was the plastic extension tubes but I believe this will take any 32mm nozzles and tubes so if you have any better quality tools you could connect them to the hose. Speaking of the hose, that's the first thing to come out of the box. Typical affair. I quite like the grey, it's a bit different, this sort of grey off-white, dove grey bit different to the standard black you normally get on budget cleaners, on many cleaners. There we have the suction relief on the handle. Open to reduce suction. It swivels to a fashion, a little bit stiff, but it does swivel at the handle end. And it is fixed at the cleaner end, but it might actually swivel when it's in the machine. I'm not sure, possibly not actually looking at it. It looks like it'll lock into place because there are two release catches either side for pulling out the hose. So I'm assuming it's fixed at the cleaner end, which does mean it might tangle up while you're using it. Here's the instruction box, book. And here's the model. It's a Goblin GCV301W vacuum cleaner. User guide. All seems very straightforward. Obviously this machine was produced since the EU regulations so it does actually have an energy label which is actually on the machine. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I believe it gets an A rating for hard floors but it's not so good on carpets. So if you're looking for a budget priced hard floor mainly for hard floors this could be worth going for. This nozzle doesn't look bad at all. Of course it's all plastic, but it, it seems quite good. Slightly different design to um, the cheap nozzles I've seen in the past. Very, very wide suction opening. You've got a very thin, but a longer litter picker at the front. There's a squeegee at the back and a brush at the front, which you lower by pressing down on that pedal. And there are two little wheels as well either side at the front and two at the back. There's a little bracket for parking it on the cleaner. All in all, for a budget cleaner, that doesn't look bad. It'd be nice if it had a metal plate at the bottom, but I mean, what do you expect? I mean, it was only £25, even at the full price of £45, it would still be considered a budget vacuum. Well, certainly it's a budget vacuum to me. Here are the two tubes. Obviously you can buy budget vacuums that have metal tubes or even a metal telescopic tube. So they've cut the cost by giving us two plastic tubes. The advantage of plastic are they tend to be lighter than the metal but maybe not as strong. This is Lottie or is it? No, yes you are Lottie. I have to f You've got the collar, you are Lottie. This isn't Daisy if you're wondering. Any fans of Daisy? This is Daisy's sister. Okay, um, it's just the machine to bring out. There is another cleaning tool. I'm hoping it's stored on board. Let's, unless it's in the bottom of the box. Oh no, it isn't stored on board. It's in the box. It's a very familiar nozzle. I don't know how many vacuums I've seen with that nozzle. I don't like it. 
Just pop the box to one side. That's your crevice tool and laughably dusting brush. There we go. That's in the dusting brush. Oh, it's not locking out. There we go. That's locked open. So you've got it as a little dusting brush there. Not very good, is it? Tiny, tiny. And if you want to use it as a crevice tool without the brush, we just move the brush back and it stores on board the nozzle. Here's the cleaner then. Very, very light. I do like the colour, the white and the red. It's quite, um, quite nice, quite striking. Anyway, I'm not going to moan. £25. If you just want a second cleaner for upstairs or even just for the car, it might be worth going for because you can spend, of course, a lot more than £25 on a, a rechargeable handheld vacuum. So even if it lasts a year, if you buy it at 25 obviously maybe not be quite so good value at £45. Here's the uh, plug. Again, it's colour coordinated, nice grey, dove grey plug and cable. So it coordinates with the accessories and there's, uh, there's grey bits and the wheels are grey and of course the base of the cleaner is. Let me just press on that to rewind the flex, that seems quite good. Here's the swing ticket, energy label. Oh, I thought, I'd, oh, can I remove it without my scissors? Will it just pull off? Can I untie it? I might be able to. Failing that, I will just grab my scissors and... Oh, there we go. Let's pop it down and have a look a bit closer at the energy label. So it's a D, actually. It's not an A rated, it's a D for energy. So I'll see what the wattage is of this. It's a G rating, so that's the lowest rating for dust emissions, so one to avoid if you have dust allergies, I think. Carpet cleaning performance, it's an E. So, you know, please understand that this A to G is a rating that's been devised by, you know, the people in the EU, whoever decided on this. And G is the minimum standard they expect so even at G, it will still perform, but um, it's obviously better the higher up you go in the numbers, the better in theory, or hopefully in practice, that the machine will perform. So it's an E for carpet, so maybe one to avoid for carpet cleaning, but if you don't have any pets and don't have lots of people in your home, it might be okay. But it gets an A rating for hard floors. 86 decibels, so that sounds quite loud to me, but obviously we'll judge that when I switch it on. Um, so that's it, that's the energy rating. So, here's the machine. I expect this bin, lovely and clear now, but it will soon cloud, as even Dyson bins cloud after a few uses. But anyway, let's have a look underneath. So I've got two big wheels. It seems okay, I mean, I'm not complaining for this money. Um, you've got your swivel caster. Again, it, just, it feels okay. You know, here's the rating plate, rating sticker. I can't read that. Let's see what it says. I've told you the model. So it's actually a 1200 watt motor. So unlike a lot of these cylinder cleaners now, they're about 700, 750, sort of average, they would get an A rating. But this is a 1200, so it will have quite a bit of suction. Product for Asda Stores Limited, it says. You might be able to get this under a different brand in other countries. It's just a generic bagless cylinder, really. Um, but obviously it's branded Goblin for Asda Stores. And I believe that is the way that Goblin used to brand their later vacuums. That's that sort of font. But I like it. I like, the, I like the red and white, it's, it's a nice striking finish. This is what the, um, the upright is styled in, red and white. On the back, foot operated on off switch, foot operated auto cord rewind. There's your standard parking bracket for your main nozzle. Here's exhaust filter, which just looks like a sponge. And quite a thick sponge, you'll be able to wash that I expect. And the motor, we can see the motor, no, it's quite exposed. You can just see the motor and it seems to be on its end rather than 
more traditionally horizontally inside the machine it seems to be stood upright still do the same job whether it's on its end or stood up let's have a look which way does it go in was it that way that's odd hmm <laughs> I wasn't watching what I was doing well I assume it I think it might be that way oh it's that way because yes there we go is it <laughs> Or isn't it? No, it isn't. Right, it's that way. That's the way it goes. That's the way to do it. There we go, that's that's in place. What else have we got to look at? Well, here's, here's the hose inlet. And here at the top is the red button that we press to release the dirt bin. I'll have a look at that in a minute. It will be just a single cyclone cleaner. I can guarantee that will not be multi-cyclonic at this price. There's another little filter, again, I've seen it so many times, this sort of very coarse, coarse mesh help prevent any larger particles that get past the other filter that will be in the bin. The suction obviously comes from there and the debris that's sucked through the hose enters the bin through here. So let's pop that back, you can be able to wash that as well. <coughs> There's a little maintenance tips there. Quite handy to have them on the cleaner. Not many people keep the instructions or if they need them they can't find them. So you can wash the main filter, it's mainly showing you washing the main filter. So speaking of the main filter and the bin, here it is. It's got a little catch on the bottom which may or may not open the first time. No because it's new. It's not playing ball, so I'll have to help it. There we go. So the dirt should drop out of the bottom. There is a shroud, obviously the red part is a shroud, but that's just covering a pleated filter. Um, I don't know if it claims HEPA filtration, but it only, as I said, it only gets a G for emissions, so not very good. There's a locked and unlocked padlock symbol it's very hard to... I'm having to do this in artificial lighting, unfortunately. I like to do my videos in natural light if I can, so I'm getting a bit of reflection. But there is a locked and unlocked padlock symbol. So if I turn it to unlock, we can take the bin out, give that a wipe when needed. And then we can see the shroud. Again, we can wipe that or brush that clean. There's a little seal on the bottom there, you must ensure that that's always in place, that uh, it does come off, so make sure that's always there. And to remove the shroud we just have to twist it. I wouldn't submerse that in water, the top part, but this part you can wash. Inside the shroud should be a filter, there we go. Very similar to the filter on the Goblin handheld I demonstrated on my channel. If you want to see that video there's a link below. But it's bigger, of course, but it's a standard pleated in the bin type filter, so it will get dirty pretty quickly. The shroud does help prevent larger debris from adhering to the filter, pet hairs and the like, but a lot of the fine dust will go straight to that filter and start to clog it pretty quickly. But that's the price you pay at this price. <laughs> At the entry level type of bagless vacuum you do tend to get single cyclonic with a pleated filter in the bin. Pay a little bit more money and you can get multi-cyclonic which on the whole tends to filter the fine dust better and of course if you want the best cyclonic action you do have to pay premium prices for a Dyson you know, I've got my issues with Dyson, you know, they're okay, but, you know, they do, they do actually do the best cyclone. But there are other cleaners that do similar, that are quite good, but not quite as good as the Dyson. Not yet, anyway. Now then, let's see, have I put that in correctly? I'm not sure. No, there we, there we go. That's locked into place. I wonder if that'll work now the second time. Yes. So, that's the 
bankless unit and that needs to go back inside mount it on the cleaner until it clicks there we go comfy carry handle so let's connect the hose and plug it in right I've pulled out the cord and I've plugged it in again pretty standard with machines of this price point gives you a warning of how far to pull the cord out there's a little yellow sticker here that's telling you when you see that it's giving you a sort of visual warning not to pull the cord out too much more than that and now there's a red one if you can just about see so when I see the red little uh, sticker on a cord I do tend to rewind it slightly until that disappears one thing I like about this and it was a common fault with some other vacuum cleaners from the past when you're constantly pulling out the cord it could wear a groove in the plastic well this one even at the budget end they've provided two little rollers top and bottom so when you're pulling it out it does help to prevent that so there'll be little plastic rollers but they will have a metal spindle yes I can see they've got a metal spindle so that's you know that's a good little thing let's plug the hose in I think it matters which way you put it let's try it that way no it doesn't matter it clicks in quite firmly but as I suspected it's fixed at the cleaner end only swivels at the handle end so you know as I say it might tangle up it's a very short hose I think it's about 1.5 meter the hose the cord length is 4.7 meters nearly 5 meters but that's not very long at all it does say the filter is HEPA and it's washable but we knew that anyway well before I attach the tubes and the main nozzle I'm just going to turn it on and we'll judge the suction and the noise level quite noisy quite noisy reasonable suction but that's obviously a new empty cleaner that suction may reduce as the machine fills sorry about that Lottie Lottie's off camera she was given a bit of a, a start when I turned that on so yes it doesn't have even doesn't even have a soft start it's full on as soon as you press the on button I'm wondering if it's a different model you can buy in another country perhaps there seems to be a blanking piece here that I assume may be for a dial for an electronic speed control but obviously at this low price I wouldn't have expected that but it would have been nice to have that facility so we can pop both tubes on two single tubes but as I say I believe this is just a standard 32 millimeter size so if you've got a Henry um, old Henry tools lying about you might find that your Henry tools fit this so there we go here's the cleaner parked it does it does feel very plastic obviously most vacuum cleaners are plastic these days but the quality of the plastic does vary so that's it parked I'll give it a quick go run it over this carpet it's been vacuumed recently so it's not going to produce loads of dirt in the bin but stay tuned because I will be doing a full performance demo on this and a proper review okay then let's give it a go um you might like to move away uh, Lottie darling it's going to be very noisy off you go you're going to be okay don't know how used to vacuums Lottie is obviously Daisy's very used to them and Molly tolerates them now the height the handle height for me isn't bad if you're very tall you might find you're stooping a bit anyway I'm just going to give it a quick go and then the full demo will follow in a week or two or three
nozzle is pretty hard to push and I can see what people are saying about the tubes because I'm having quite, quite difficulty <laughs> pushing the nozzle. I can feel a lot of flexing in these tubes. Would have been nice if this would have been supplied with a, a standard metal telescopic tube. I think that would have improved this machine no end. But I'm not moaning at 25 pounds. Obviously on carpets, I mean it's brought the pile up to be honest of this very, very short pile carpet, it's brought the pile up, but it's quite hard work. I think it would be hard work just on this small area. It's, it's pretty hard to push. But I think for hard floors, it'd probably be okay, because you're not gonna get the resistance of the nozzle on the carpet on, on a hard floor, because you're gonna have the brush down. It will be a lot easier to push on a hard floor. And as it says, it's an A rating for hard floors. So it's light, easy to carry. It does lack a small nozzle for your upholstery and sort of your stairs. But again, and I'll confirm this in, rev in the review, um, I'm pretty sure it takes those two millimeter accessories, so you can buy those. They're ten a penny anywhere on eBay, Amazon, in stores too perhaps. Um, 32 millimeter is most common diameter for vacuum accessories. So you will be able to increase the versatility and possibly the performance by adding some better tools. And you might already have some lying about in the back of your cupboard. So there we go. That's the Goblin Bagless Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner unboxed and my first impressions of it. Please subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload the video, the demonstration video. And don't forget to check back on my channel because I have probably nearly 500 videos by now, all dedicated, the majority dedicated to the humble vacuum cleaner. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.